Sankalp, the global summit that you are organizing. This is a pioneering effort to try and forge that unconventional path which has not been traveled so far by any of the businesses or most of the businesses, certainly in the mainstream economic model or economic thinking. It is my firm belief that summits like these are critical to our efforts to achieve the global goals and ensure the sustained development of more just, inclusive and prosperous societies across the globe. We're really able to take an ecosystem approach, which means we can work across the barriers that women face uh, regarding finance, uh, capacity, and also policy issues and, uh, and helping to build the entrepreneurial ecosystem. We see now $30 trillion or more of ESG investing, environmental, social and governance investing, where there is an intention to deliver both impact and profit. The COVID-19 pandemic has turned our world upside down. In some public debate, how we respond to COVID-19 has been framed as a choice between health and the economy. One background we'll have to keep in mind is about 85 to 90% of employment at this level in India tends to be with the unorganized sector, which means that none of the benefits that the government has thought out for reach these employees. Most of the social enterprises have realized that they need to get their fundamentals right. And what I mean by that is they need to make sure that A, they have a very strong people and culture team, like Dave said, uh, but more importantly, that they focus on profit. We believe that one of the ways to be able to create employment in India is, is going back to agriculture and sustainable farms. The sooner we can get a focus on building back better and greener across the policy, the better off we're going to be. There, there is no choice than, uh, than switching from a linear to a circular economy. And the question is, um, how do we do it? Um, how quick do we do it? We're optimistic about the future for Gender Lens Investing as we look back at our work with investors in recent years. It's not just about pointing money and counting the number of female entrepreneurs you've invested in, right? But I think about a much deeper understanding of how do you actually um, contribute to women's economic empowerment right through these models. amount of respect for this annual gathering, for its leadership. So it, it's a real privilege to be part of this, this panel today. It's absolutely essential that this kind of an interactive session, uh, uh, you know, this kind of dialogue should continue.